Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another whiskey review on Matt's Cigars and Whiskey YouTube channel. Right, this review, we're going into the realms yet again of Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich Speyside Distillery, they obviously do the 12 year old, 15 year old. Their bottlings are very, very common. You can normally find them in many supermarkets. You can find them in a lot of bars and restaurants, but they also do an experimental series. They've done four so far, which is Fire and Kine, Fire and Kane, sorry, Project 20, IPA, of which I have all three, and they also do a winter experiment one as well, which was over 100 quid, so I didn't really fancy spending the money on that. And they've just released number five. Now, number five, as you can most probably see, is one called The Orchard Experiment. Now, this is a 43% whiskey, finished in Somerset, Pomona spirit casks. Pomona, I believe, is an apple liquor. Um, so you're expecting this to be very apple forward, maybe pears, you know, those type of fruits, things you'd find in an orchard, hence why it's called The Orchard Experiment. Now, one thing I will say compared to the other bottles, this bottle looks cheap and nasty. The other bottles have like, they've, they've took time, you know, they've, they, it seems like they were quite proud of the bottlings in those, you know, even the bottles themselves, they had like screen printed the Glenfiddich badge, Glenfiddich badge on the front. They just looks better, whereas this just looks like it's, I don't know, 42 pounds, you would expect it more from Glenfiddich to be honest with you. I mean, first thoughts on this, when I purchased it, I took it out of the uh, tube that it comes in and I just went, Ugh, you know, it doesn't look, they don't look as proud of this as they do the other the other whiskies they produce, you know? It's just like slapped in a bottle with, I believe it looks green all over it. Orchard Experiment, green. I can see why they've done it, but in my eyes, I don't think they look as good in the bottle for this um, at all. Like I say, 42 pounds, 43%. Yes, probably is a little bit of money, but we'll go into that in a little while as to whether it is worth the money. So, nose on this. Orchard experiment, we're expecting there to be a lot of fruits in there, a lot of orchard fruits. Let's see where it takes us. Weak. Very, very weak is all I would say to that. There's not a lot of flavors fighting to come through. There's not a lot pushing, you know, pushing it doesn't hit you around the face. It doesn't, you know, there's not a lot coming through on the nosing for this at all. It's, yes, I'm getting apples in there. Yes, I'm getting lemon zest. Fruitiness at the background of this, fairly floral. But I'm also, there's like, there's also a savory, musk, like a musky type smell going on in there. I'd also smell, I'd, all, I'd almost say damp, like a Dunwich, Dunwich warehouse, like a Dunwich warehouse type smell. And that really, that damp Dunwich type smell is what sits at the back of that, you know? The, the fruit is there at the front and it's, the fruit's trying to push through, but that, that damp type smell is, that's sort of masking it a little bit to be honest with you. Not what I was expecting on the nose. Um, when I bought this, I was expecting it to be crisp, clean, you know, oh, lovely. It smells, it smells really nice, but I'd almost go as far as to say that's dull. You know, that is a dull nose and all that. But let's see what we get on the uh, tasting from this. The mouth is a lot better. You know, the taste of this is a lot better. This is where the apples are really shining through. To start off with, there are a lot of crisp apples in there, but after a couple of seconds it moves, you're getting stewed apples in a, <laughs> stewed apples in a pan with sultanas, loads of demerara brown sugar poured on top of them. Absolutely delicious. Pears, there is a slight pear taste coming through on this as well. There is a caramel sitting at the back of this like a much sweeter caramel as we come through it. And there is also lemon zest coming through. There's a citrusy in there. 
a real citrus note. And I would say it's not actual fruit. I'd say it's definitely more of a pithy, zesty, sharp type taste coming through. The taste of this compared to the nose, this is a lot better on in the mouth. You know, it's not coating the mouth heavily. It's not super flavorful. The dampness is in the actual taste as well. Not until I had that second mouthful. And I actually, you let the flavors move through and you can definitely taste like, I say it's, it's a Dunnergy Warehouse dampy type taste, you know, it's, it's peculiar. It really is peculiar for something that's being sold as an orchard experiment, which you're expecting to be crisp and fruitful and bright is what I'd say. It's, it is quite dull. It is quite a dulling whiskey. But the finish on this, very short, not a long finish at all. That damp, I can't get away from the damp taste. I don't know what it is, why it's just now sat in my head. The apples are there at the fore, you know, the apples are there. The more you move through, the apples turn crisp again. The finish, it's quite a zingy, crisp, appley, lemony type taste on your mouth. There is a slight oakiness in there as well. But the whole way through it is that, that dull, dunnagey, weird, damp taste. Very peculiar. Very, very peculiar. £42, I said this is retailing that. It's not worth that. I'm not going to lie to you. This is definitely not worth that. This is a this is a thirty pound bottle maximum. You know, I unfortunately paid forty two pounds for it just because I really wanted to buy it. I wanted it in the collection. I had seen a couple of reviews on it, which made me think, mm, you know, it could be half decent. But I'm really disappointed. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm going to. I can't give it any more than six out of ten. I really can't. That's. Yeah, that's not that's not nice. That's not their best. Glenfiddich, that is not your best achievement at all. I much prefer the Project 20. Project 20 absolutely blows this out of the water, you know. It really does. If you can ever get your hands on that, if you haven't tried it, you have to try it. That, to me, is... That's an amazing whiskey. It really is. It really, really is. But, right, I'm going to leave that there. Like I say, such a shame. It's not worth the money. If you could get it for £30... You know you're on to a winner there because it is probably worth that but going over a 40 pound whiskey you know 42 pounds nah nope no nope, no no nope. i won't be buying another bottle of this for that amount of money anyway it'll probably just sit in the collection now and it'll be one that will be poured for people when they come round or when i go to parties etc just to take just for people to taste just to give them you know a little bit of variation in different whiskies but i'm gonna leave that there uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've got this far, I really appreciate it. Please give the video a like. Um, not going to tell you to subscribe because you know how YouTube works. If you like the videos, if you like the channel, you would have subscribed by now. But thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You take care of yourselves. And I will see you in the next review. Slancher.